Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been like three weeks, nearly a month. I finished my job yesterday, so I am free for the summer. I'm gonna be making videos and having some fun, doing lots of theatrical things, she hopes. <laughs> I wing most of my life. Anyone who knows me knows that I wing everything and somehow with positivity, things happen. Da. At the moment, it's absolutely blazing sunshine. I'm boiling, I'm wearing like a sort of croppy toppy sort of sports bra thing with a pair of shorts and I'm still roasting because um, if any of you are American most of you will have aircon um, but we don't have aircon really in the UK it's like an obsolete thing nobody has it except for like buildings where you have staff and people in it uh, so I have a window open uh, but I bought myself a uh, was it a micro muff so a skinny micro muff uh, and I'm hoping that that will stop you getting like windy sounds fingers crossed you may also hear my brother in the background apologies I live with family, it happens. So for my first like video back, I thought I would review a book that I finally got around to reading, which is Save the Cat by Blake Schneider. This is a screen, a screen on book writing, <laughs> it's a book on screenwriting, and it's actually really interesting. The uh, Blake goes through all of the how to, how to basically write a, a screenplay, and it goes through all the motions, and talking about title, logline, uh, character development, everything. Uh, talking about dialogue and how um, what what to and what not to look out for what you should and shouldn't do and as an actor uh, I personally think learning how to properly read a script or even be able to write a script is really in really really beneficial so one of my lights is literally about to run out of battery but I will still have light on that side apologies that it changes back to the book so it took me quite a while to read this not because I didn't enjoy it but because I've been really busy with work and things and life got in the way again life it always gets in the way. I need to figure out a way to stop it letting it getting in the way. Um, also, there's these wonderful things called Netflix, Amazon Prime, Now TV, and YouTube. They also get in my way. I watch a lot of things. <laughs> so basically, Blake talks through the 10 genres that every single um, film or TV script will fit into. And it's just interesting because you sort of... And um, he's, it basically gives his email in the book saying, if you can think of another genre, then email me, but I bet you, you can't. And it's like, what, dude? And when you look through, um, so I keep thinking of all my favorite films, I'm like, but it does, they all fit into a category. It talks about heroes, how to write them, how to do it all. It, even at the back goes into getting your script um, bought off of you, sold, whatever, everything. They It goes through the whole motion. I'm not necessarily looking to write a screenplay yet. <laughs> I'm still an actor. I very much enjoy what I do, but because I read a lot of scripts um, and you know when you're an actor you want to make sure you're picking the right scripts I found I've found this really insightful and I've gone and looked at scripts that I thought were amazing and actually gone back and thought actually do you know what I wouldn't touch it now so I would say as an actor you have to read this because it just will open your mind as to actually how scripts will play out um, as much as you sort of know how they'll play out. I, I don't know how to sort of explain it in terms. Um, I'm not very good at like getting what's in my head out. Uh, I know what I want me want to say, but I can't put it into coherent sentences. In in here as well, you know, they have the sort of the, the sections of a script that will be there. So was it the setup, the catalyst, the debate, the break into two, the B story, fun and games, midpoint, then you've got bad guys close in, all is lost moment, um, dark night of the soul, break into three, uh, final image. So basically most good films, no matter what you do, will have a similar um, construct as to how they are, 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 are written, I guess. Is that the right term? I hope. And it's just interesting because all good films that I know are good films, I've gone and rewatched with a different perspective and thought, no, I like this. And it's dialogue as well. How, um, I'm just gonna be like sifting through this trying to find sections. <laughs> dialogue, dialogue. So in terms of dialogue, then we'll have scenes where people will think what they know what people would say in a scene. And I, I personally, if I'm reading a script, if it's a friend, um, I do get friends sending me scripts and things and I'll go through it and I will sort of pick out bits where I would and wouldn't change it or what I would do. Because I think you've always got, it's always good to have 
um, another opinion. So it's the same as when I'm doing my acting and things. I'd far rather someone tell me if I need to change something than them keep quiet about it and I do an awful performance. It's the same with script. Sometimes ad-libbing or what you feel the character would say as opposed to that. But it's like dead conversation. So it's like, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, you. Yeah. Doesn't make a great scene, does it, really? Um, you want something different, like a something to play off of. I'm trying to find the bit. I should have, like, bookmarked all of this and done this like a sensible human, but I didn't. Ah, found it. Alright, uh, so hi, how are you? I'm fine section. Basically, it says, hi, how are you? I'm fine. Tells us just how boring flat dialogue can be and what a waste of space it is. So, flat dialogue. So, he says that a character's dialogue is your opportunity to reveal character and tell us who this person is as much as what they are saying. So, you know, what we say as people is just as important as who we are as a person you know it's a bit like it's not what you say it's what you do but then at the same time for screen what you say is what you do uh, a lot of the time and there's another section where he talks about how you need to make the bad bad guy badder to make the hero seem even better so if the hero doesn't seem all that great make the bad guy badder it will automatically lift up the good guy. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting, simple things, and a lot of it's yin and yang. I actually feel it's very balancing. So like one way or the other with screenwriting and how it's been written, and it's, it's a really, really fascinating book. I haven't reviewed in a while. I'm sorry if this isn't very conclusive. I will leave the reason as to why it's called Save the Cat for you to read about, because I, I like leaving snippets for people to read. I always think it's a bit of fun. But as an overall, this book basically shows you what is and isn't good in a screenplay. It enlightens you as to how screenplays are written, how much thought goes into them, how they should plan out, how they should be structured, dialogue, what you're looking for, character development, uh, how characters are written. And as an actor, that is imperative. It is so important to know that. And you know, not all of us go to drama school. We don't all get that luxury. I haven't, and I am educating myself from home because I'm like that. I would I would highly recommend this. I can't recommend it enough. I will leave a link to the Amazon for it down below. I got this I think I got it at the National Theatre. I can't actually remember. I've had it for quite a while now but I will definitely be going back to this at points if I'm reading scripts just to go through what I'm looking at and making sure that what I'm I'm looking at is good material and what what I'm I'm thinking about doing with the character is what is needs to be done. I'm very babbly today. It's so hot. I'm so dead. I literally am just like, I'm boiling. It's not good. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I will be reviewing more and more theatre books and plays. I have time now. I'm gonna um, hopefully make them a bit more conclusive. I'm just starting out with this, so bear with me. I'm gonna be making a video on my experience at the RADA Summer School, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about that. I need to find all my materials and, um, so I can find photos and, and talk about it properly because I know I took loads of photos while I was there. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions for videos or if there's any theatrical books you want me to review, uh, leave, it, leave it down below in the comments and I will do my best to review it. If you're also in the UK and suffering from the heat, please let me know also so I don't feel so alone in this blistering, like, uh, I'm not used to this, I miss my jumpers, and I wish I was in the Arctic Circle. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching through all my babbling and semi trying to review a book. I'm getting used to it, it will work out eventually. I hope. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I will leave links down below. I'm Imogen DSC on everything, um, and I'll see you through a lens sometime very, very soon. I love you all guys, bye! Shoo.